Kitchen and How to Eat Vegetables with Colleen Shemrick. All right, today I'm going to make a chili, a vegetable chili. I didn't say vegetarian chili, I said vegetable chili because the main part of it is vegetables. Now there's three different ways that I can make this. I can make it in the crock pot, I can use it, I'll make it in the microwave for those of my college friends. Um, you can make this in your college dorm room probably need somewhere to, to shop, or sometimes these things come chopped already. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put it in a pan, and I'm going to take just some organic tomatoes. I like the whole ones. I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to take all my chopped vegetables, and you can see that they're big pieces. Oh, look at all those beautiful colors. and then I had a, a red onion as well. And of course you have to have the beans. I have red uh, kidney beans and black beans. Now I've actually made my own beans and that's why they're coming from a bowl, but you can get it from a can. I usually, if I do use a can, I use organic and I always rinse off that juice because that juice causes excessive gas. So now look at this. I put all that in there in my chili. Now I'm going to take probably about, oh, I want to say it, two teaspoons of salt. And I'm going to take my chili, which I absolutely love. Don't be afraid of using chili powder, unless, of course, the chili powder has the cayenne in it. And if it has cayenne in it, you want it to kind of take it easy if you don't like hot stuff. So I'm going to take a big tablespoon. Uh-oh, I'm out. Nope, it's stuck on the bottom. Let's see if I can get that. Some humidity just must have hit it. Okay, so there's one tablespoon, there's two tablespoons. Oh, let's just use the rest of it. And my all time favorite is cumin or cumin, however you want to say it. And I actually am going to take the lid off of that because this is my favorite spice. And I think this is the, what makes chili taste like chili. So I'm going to pick probably about a tablespoon of that. And I do have some onions in here, but I'm going to take a little bit extra onion powder. And again, if you wanted to, you could use your um, uh, crushed red pepper. I don't like it very hot. And then there's also some smoked paprika, and um, if you have that, if, if that's something that you would like. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of water and put it on to, uh, to boil. Um, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let the vegetables just stay tender, crisp, just a little bit, so the sauces kind of move in. I don't want to cook down my vegetables. I like when they're crunchy. Again, I can. I could do the same thing if I were doing this uh, before I went to work. I'd put it in the crock pot and put it on low. A couple of hours later, I would have chili. Or I can also do this very quickly in a, a casserole dish inside the microwave. But since I want to make this um, in a big volume, I'm going to use it in the pot. I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. Hey, welcome back. I told you I would show you what it looks like. I probably just let this uh, come up to a boil and then I let it simmer for probably about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is what it looks like. Now, I know to many of you, you're like, wait a minute, those vegetables aren't cooked. This is actually how I like the, the vegetables. They still have that tender crunch, uh, crunch to them, but yet all the flavors are inside that um, inside the chili. Now, there have been times where I've given this as a base to other people, and you know when they were sick or they you know, came home from the hospital. And I've heard that what they do is just add their their meat product to it. I know that one time someone added shredded chicken and another person added um, ground beef. Again, uh, my home's all about vegetables, so we are gonna eat it just like this. All right, have a wonderful evening, enjoy. Mm -hmm.